Hello everyone, Paul here from Comparatech, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to install and use a VPN app on an Amazon Fire TV stick. To get started, you'll need a second generation Fire Stick or later. You'll also need access to the APK file of your VPN app. This can usually be downloaded from the VPN provider's website. Depending on how the VPN interface is designed, it might be difficult or even impossible to actually control the app using the default remote control that comes with the Fire Stick. If that's the case, you can purchase a Bluetooth mouse or we'll show you how you can control the input with an Android phone or tablet. Before we get started though, I'd like to point out a couple excellent providers that have Fire TV optimized apps already on Amazon's Fire TV App Store. Those are IPVanish and ExpressVPN. These don't require any workarounds or special tweaks to get working. They're fully functional with just the Fire TV remote and they'll save you a lot of trouble. They'll also get updates automatically. You can find an article with step-by-step -step instructions in the description and it contains some discount links to save you some money on those VPNs. For this tutorial, however, we'll show you how to install a VPN app that isn't on the Fire TV App Store. To demonstrate, we'll be installing and using NordVPN, another great provider that hasn't gotten around to making its app available directly to Fire TV Stick users yet. From the home screen, go to the top and choose Settings, then Device. Go to Developer Options and toggle both of the settings here on. That's ADB, Debugging, and Apps from Unknown Sources. Go back to the home screen and select the magnifying glass icon to search for an app called Downloader. It has an orange logo. Select Get and let the app install, then open it. Type in the download URL to the APK file of your VPN app. This can take a while to do with the Fire TV remote. The actual download link for NordVPN in particular is super long and contains a ton of symbols. So instead, I'm just going to go to a page that contains the download link on NordVPN's site. That way I can type in a much shorter and simpler URL. This will open up a rudimentary web browser inside the downloader app. Then I can just find the download link using the directional controls on the remote and click on the center button to begin the download. When the download finishes, you'll be prompted to install the app. Select install, then open. Once you've installed it, you can exit downloader. Because NordVPN is seen as a third-party app, it doesn't show up on your home page or even your apps page. Instead, you'll have to go to Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications, and select your VPN app from the list. Then click Launch. Now for some of you, that's it. Depending on the design of the app and how it's laid out, you might be able to sign in and connect right away. With NordVPN and many other apps, however, that's not the case. Trying to force the limited buttons on the remote to navigate and interact with an app that's designed for a touch screen can be pretty much impossible, so we're going to need a mouse. Now if you have one handy or you can borrow one from somebody, you can use a Bluetooth mouse and connect it to your Fire TV. The other option though is to use an Android phone or tablet to remotely control the Fire TV. We're going to show you how to do the latter. Amazon has a TV remote app for Fire Sticks, but it doesn't give you mouse control. Instead, it just replicates the basic functions of the physical remote. I tried a few other solutions for this and found the best option to be an app called Remote for Fire TV. It cost $2, but was well worth the money spent. If you want a free option, though, you can try Cetus Play, which more or less does the same thing and is also available on the Fire TV App Store. However, while I could control the mouse movements with C-Display from my phone, I couldn't get actual left and right clicks to go through. Depending on your phone, your mileage may vary, so I encourage you to try C-Display first. That C-Dis is C-E-T-U-S uh, if you want a free option. In this tutorial, though, I'm just going to use Remote for Fire TV. So you'll need to get this app on both the Fire TV stick and on your Android phone or tablet. It's only available from the Amazon App Store and not Google Play. 
You'll have to get the Amazon App Store installed on your Android device and then from the Amazon App Store install the app specifically for Fire TV. So long as you're only using one Amazon account, you only need to purchase it once for both devices, your Fire TV stick and your Android phone. Once you've installed the app on your Fire TV, open it and make sure the first item is toggled on and the second to start the app on boot is optional. You should see a status indicator near the bottom that says started. No other action needed here. The app just runs in the background. Make sure the Fire TV stick and the second Android device are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You can then open up the app on your phone and find your Fire TV stick in the phone or tablet app to connect to it. Here I'll show you a couple screenshots. I don't have actual video of this, but you should be able to figure it out. You can click on the mouse option and use the screen on your phone like a laptop touchpad. Just tap on the screen to click. To scroll, use the S up and S down buttons. Now we can open NordVPN back up and use it from the remote app. For Nord, we just click on the person icon to get to the sign-in page and enter our credentials. Then we can select a location and connect to it. The first time you do this, you'll be prompted to allow the app to connect. The connection should remain active until you power down the device or manually disconnect it. Just to show you, I'll exit the VPN app and then go back to it, just so you can see that it stays connected. And that's it. Your Fire Stick is now using a VPN. Thanks for listening. Once again, I'm Paul Bischoff from Comparatech. Have a nice day.